repeat sentence repeat sentence repeat sentence i'm not getting it yeah i've been practicing but i'm not at all confident do you have any those 10 secret hidden premium tips that i should know so that i become very happy i become more relaxed as far as pt repeat sentence is concerned well if you're wondering then trust me today's video will definitely not disappoint you because i've inculcated all the uh, things summed up in today's video of 10 secret hidden premium tips to get a 90 out of 90 in your pt speaking that means repeat sentence will not be a problem anymore make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody nothing from skills pt academic really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with that another video today's video is all about the top 10 secret tips for repeat sentence that one should know in order to get a perfect 90. before we get into the video if not subscribed to this channel i request kindly do subscribe for the future notifications at any point of time you need online assistance it's an online paid assistance you can whatsapp us to the number given there we'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction and to tell you a lot of students on an everyday basis are getting that perfect 90 you can verify the same in our youtube shorts and insta page and youtube community post as well all right let's get into the video um let me just share my screen i've got an exciting one 10 secret premium hidden tips for a 90 all right let's start with the tip number one but before that um why repeat sentence is very important repeat sentence is like that stone which kills two birds you'd have heard this idiom right by killing by killing two things with one stone that's what repeat sentence does because repeat sentence contributes 30 plus marks towards your listening and 30 plus marks towards your speaking and very very important module and a very easy tricks are there but in this video i'm gonna give you all the top premium tips wait for it let's start with the tip number one um trust me on this this is the problem with a lot of people they think it is a memory contest pearson is not checking if you have a good memory or not all that testing is do you have a good listening skill i listen and then i speak then why are you <laughs> why do you have brain then what is the purpose of the brain correct that's called hearing skill let's say i speak in my language native language you all will not understand what i'm speaking but you all can hear oh nakul is blabbering something isn't it so let's say let's say if i speak like this you will get to know that i'm blabbering something ears are functional but brain is not supporting the idea that listening to that is making sense or not so this is what listening skill is you hear and then send it here for a processing 90 percent of them don't understand don't even dare to do it they hear and speak immediately the tongue will speak no 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 listen and send it for brain for processing interpret and then speak that is never repeat but respond this is the first technique man people need it this is the right guidance never repeat but respond so what exactly i mean by this let's just listen to this audio he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement okay i'm getting a picture that he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement so now if i try to repeat what is what happens he grinned widely delight excitement this is what usually um you know this is what usually happens uh but when you try to understand and respond pay more attention he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement he grinned widely his eyes sparkling with excitement so i'm more confident of it because i know what exactly i'm talking about well i have many secret tips coming up but this is the base this is fundamentals i know it's repeat sentence no cool it is not responding to a sentence i totally know that but if you try to repeat perhaps it's difficult for a lot to repeat you try to respond by understanding easy peasy man things become very easy this is the first step then we unveil many secret tips in just a while so tip number two never try to repeat full Nakul, what is this are you sure what if i get less marks to my listening you said listening speaking both all tested it's the fluency over the content it's the fluency 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 then how much i should speak at least pearson says 50 percent is enough to get good marks at least some 60 70 percent you speak minimum 60 percent but fluently let's say this audio 
He grinned widely, his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement. He grinned widely, his eyes delight and excitement. I miss that word sparkling. He grinned widely and his eyes sparkled with delight. Excitement, I missed it. He grinned widely with delight and excitement. Now, could all three of this will give marks 100 percent as a but, but, but. Please notice. Don't comment. Uh, there are many hero and heroines will try this and comment saying this is not working. How easy it is to share, isn't it? Very easy. People will not understand the mistakes they're doing. If I speak the same. He grinned widely, his eyes sparkling with delight and excitement. He grinned widely, yep, his, his eyes uh, with delight uh, and excitement. This will give me zero. You get marks even if you speak 60% only when you are fluent. That is the thing, that is the thing that is missed by many viewers. But they are happy commenting, this is not working in 2023. They mention the name, the year, everything, isn't it so? It is not just the content, it is the fluency, fluency, fluency. So you listen and speak. When you speak, let's say 10 words are there, at least let six words match. But if you are not fluent, you get zero. You are fluent and if you match those six words, you get full marks towards your speaking and listening. 100% verified. You can count on me for this. All right. We go to the tip number three. It's the fluency over the content. Let's listen to this. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories of long ago. This would be zero because software will not be able to understand anything. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories. You will get full marks because I've been fluent and many words matched. Hope you're getting it. Hope you're getting it. The old book smelled of nostalgia. The old book smelled of nostalgia. Whispered stories from long ago. And whispered stories from long ago. The old book smelled of nostalgia and stories long ago. The old book smelled of nostalgia and long ago. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories. I will get full marks for all these responses to both my speaking and listening. Where will you go wrong? The old book smelled of uh, no, nostalgia and whis whispered stories of uh, long, long, long. This is zero. Even if you fumble once or twice, software will not be intelligent enough to understand that, okay, you have problem, you are correcting it. And, and, and. What it gives? Hey, I am not able to understand, boss. I will give less marks. This is how it works. It's the fluency, 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 but what people practice on content, 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 fluency, you concentrate and whenever you practice, practice for fluency. Whenever you practice, record everything, hey, download some sound recording app in the phone, man. 10 minutes of repeat sentence, record it and see how many times have I fumbled. For every question, if you fumbled once, every question is zero, but Mr. Butterball here who is watching things, you have followed everything. I am not getting marks 100%. This is not working. No, you are not fluent. You need to be fluent. <laughs> All right, fumbles should be avoided. You need to much be more continuous. Speak like the speaker, as simple as that. Speaker will not fumble. Speaker will not rush. Speaker is not speaking very slow. Speaker is speaking naturally. You follow that. That's the tip number three. Tip number four. Pronunciation is not at all about pronunciation. I don't have American pronunciation, Australian pronunciation. I have 90. It's all about clarity. Whatever you speak, software has to understand or someone has to understand. Isn't it? Let's say this. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago. The old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago. Zero. Big, big zero will come as a gift. Tofa. Because you alone <laughs> understood or understand what you just speak or what you just spoke. You have to speak in a way software understands. How to make sure Nakul software understands? You speak naturally, man. Have your friends sit right next to you when you practice and ask your friend for every response you give. Ask your friend. Hey, dude, did you understand what I speak? You hold a stick or a gun and tell, did you understand what I speak? If he says, <laughs> perhaps I'm not understanding, then you have problem in the clarity. Open mouth, more aram, say easily, speak at ease. The book smells of astrology, don't do that. Easy, natural, easy peasy, just be natural, clarity will be perfect. That's a tip number four. Tip number five, this is that secret tip. I told you in the tip one and two and three and four, speak 50-60% will get marks. But how to speak that 50-60%? Nakul, 10 words are there, Nakul. I will try to speak 6 words, but how? 
by listening to all 10 words if you listen to all let's say 12 words are there if you listen to the all 12 words means all 12 words are sitting here first of all no space three spaces are left four spaces or five blocks are left five words i can put nakul but 12 words already here first word second third fourth fifth sixth no space again overlap overlap pav bhaji fully it has become a dish now you try to speak 60 percent you cannot speak 60 percent this is the reality listen to what you can repeat my capacity is 10 words then i will listen to only 10 words my capacity is six words i listen to six words after listening to six words what will i do i'll do this otherwise it's not possible see this all these steps are for those who have problems let's say you are you have the potential you have the skill to repeat even 20 words then just a speaker perfectly you will get marks problem is Nakula I have problem 90% of them have then you need to follow this what exactly I meant listen to it carefully the old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago that's it the old book spelled of nostalgia and whispered stories after that I did not listen don't do overacting like this in the exam just practice every day by listening to six words and then ignoring the rest you listen to six words but the 12 words are there the speaker is still speaking that time also you can use to memorize the sentences right the old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories six seven words i'm listening implement this with a full trust that this will work it works provided provided hold on hold on don't comment it's not working this will not work in 2023 provided you're fluent you need to be fluent Hope you get it. This is that secret tip, guys. If you want to get a good score in your repeat sentence towards your speaking and listening, then this is the guy. All right, tip number six. Never close your eyes, especially new set of people. They listen and if they don't close their eyes, they cannot speak. What they do? They listen, close their eyes and speak. Hello, boss. The mic, the mic that you wear, uh, mic will not be on immediately. Pay more attention. I'm not sure if it is very clear. Pay more attention. Something like this will be there. This is one uh, block this is another block the first block is for the audio that you listen second block is block is for your response your mic now see here beginning in eight seconds this is beginning in three after three seconds audio will start by the time pay more attention the first block three seconds is done this eight seconds will be five seconds the seconds is over now five seconds you need to wait but audio will play probably for four seconds or sometimes three seconds after that once the audio ends immediately this will not be on a recording it will not show one or two second delay will be there let's say the audio the book is smelled of nostalgia and um, his eyes was delight beginning in two beginning in one then a recording then you should speak if you speak before that you are speaking but software mic is not at all on if you close your eyes perhaps you will not know knuckle beep sound beep sound every mood there'd be no beep sound in repeat sentence so don't close your eyes okay you can listen close your eyes but when you speak you need to see if recording is there and then speak one more mistake so here beginning in eight seconds that's a beginning in two beginning in one recording comes and if you don't speak for the first three seconds and thinking what to speak remembering remembering fourth second you started but fourth second microphone will be off you need to speak between it shows recording and three seconds between this you see recording and start speaking if you speak after third second fourth second 99 percent of the times it will display a message saying silence detected microphone turning off but you will not read it will be somewhere here the message comes but you are busy focusing on the repeat sentence if you have done this mistake I feel very sorry for you you may have gotten 90 but because of this you would have gotten 70 68 if you have done it it's time you fix it tip number seven never fumble while focusing on content content is a more oh, feel still content is important so i will give content the highest priority the old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago the old book smelled of nostalgia and whis whispered stories of long ago this is how people do zero man big zero not a small one because when you focus more on the content it's psychological it's natural you your focus goes there fluency wise you're not focusing so obviously well if you can speak perfectly well and good if you are not and you're trying to catch that word correctly i forgot what is that what is that word? And thinking thinking fumbling fumbling uh pauses max gone 
idea is very simple this is a process every day whenever you practice never fumble practice for this and for that never focus much on the content well content is required at least 60 percent but it is not a priority so listen some chunks some chunks i mean not chunks <laughs> listen some chunks of it and speak never fumble never fumble never fumble because when you focus on the content it's natural it's psychological you end up fumbling fumble marks gone tip number eight one word little i fumbled it's still fine well you have fumbled you cannot do much probably fluency five probably will get four it's okay would you not get zero at least one repeat sentence gives you three mark you probably would get two out of three but if you fumble once and try to correct it one more fumbling full of messes then marks gone what i meant by this is this the old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago the old book gave smelled of nostalgia and uh, 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 the old book gave smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories of long ago see i i gave a wrong input wrong data but i continued perfectly for the software it thinks i added an extra word but i was fluent it will match rest of it i'll get food marks hope you're getting it one two fumble happens man hota hai sometimes happens it's okay but you continue confidently don't stop there thinking all messed up one fumble you did it's okay continue never come back and correct it hope you're getting it hope you're getting it tip number 9 don't add a generic answer in the end before we get into the generic answer uh, let's check the okay before we get into the generic answer few questions of yours will be answered people will have questions about can i interchange few words for example in the previous one very sorry the old book smelled of nostalgia and whispered stories from long ago whispered stories from long ago and old book smelled of nostalgia can i speak in the worst case fine it's okay because the major portion you've already spoken first the second part and then first part you're speaking like this in the end don't worry too much about it well intentionally don't interchange sometimes happens hota hai bhai sometimes happens that's okay if you're fluent and if you are clear you will get marks but let's say you did this the old book smelled of nostalgia and whisper- smelled of nostalgia old book long ago stories whispered then you don't get marks first of all you're breaking and completely jumbled you know, software should be able to understand few things little bit here in there one word you added one word you deleted one word second place you told probably in the end the end last word you told in the middle it's fine one or two words totally fine entire thing if you jumble then software may not be that that intelligent to get you all right so we go to this tip number 9 now like i told don't add a generic answer recently i was shocked some guy in the youtube probably has told to increase your fluency mark every sentence in the end add something like it is important it is very important it is very important i myself have given a class for a student has the potential of 90 overall i told him you will get 90 overall and try one day before the exam he has watched some youtube channel i don't know which one i did not ask and there he has learned this to get fluency otherwise your fluency will go down in the exam for any question listen to this accessible health care is a basic human right accessible health care is a basic human right it is very important it is very important it is very important hey, what is this nonsense man why people do this always remember the more you speak the more mistakes you make speak less don't simply add for the sake of fluency not required this is <laughs> hey, this is a wrong thing probably you'll get less marks to your listening don't do this listening marks will go down the repeat sentence also contributes marks to your listening right so be very very careful don't fall for all these things uh, i must not say this but some people resort to saying some something new out of blue all of a sudden so that they get more views uh, but meantime they don't realize they are hampering someone's future someone's money someone's time I request please don't do this and don't fall for it tip number 10 oh man this is the secret tip like i told tip number 5 and tip number 10 very very important one pay more attention it has some mathematics involved let's say you're beginning in 3 seconds beginning in 8 seconds in a after 3 seconds audio will begin that means when the audio begins this 8 minus 3 will be 5 seconds hope you're getting it usually once the audio ends one second delay will be there that means if this is the bottom one is beginning 5 seconds means audio going to be playing for 4 seconds 4 second audio is lengthy audio one 
correct isn't it so be prepared so whenever you see if it is above 5 seconds let us say the audio this is beginning in 1 second about to start before the audio begins about to start see this if this is beginning in 5 seconds it gonna be a lengthy audio if this is beginning in 4 or 3 gonna be a short audio short audio no one has problem lengthy audio people may have problems so lengthy audio what is the technique listen less speak less so before itself even before listening to the audio you would know you should listen full or 60 70 percent if you didn't understand this rewind and watch this is the technique much before the audio begins you would know that the audio that you're gonna listen next in the next one or two seconds gonna be a lengthy audio or small audio short audio you will speak effective communication is very important please come to next seminar properly prepared long audio if you listen full of problem listen half or listen 60 percent that you would know in advance before the audio begins i think this tip number 10 and tip number 5 are the go to guys this are the things this is the guy and tip 5 is the guy that you need to go after if you want a wonderful score in your exam all right these 10 tips uh, secret tips to improve repeat sentence helped you it really takes a lot of time and effort to produce content like this a lot of people work for this including me including my team so if you feel this video deserves an appreciation then do give a thumbs up we would definitely be delighted and yes do leave a comment as to how you felt about the video uh, anytime you need online assistance it's a paid assistance you can text us we will be there to guide you help you in the right direction don't forget to subscribe our channel skills pt and watch out for more updates this is nagul signing off from skills pt very soon we'll be back till then take care bye bye